Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Yo, hey, what's going on, man? So let's uh, let me start out by saying thank you, everybody that be following, liking, subscribing to Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Let's take let's just sit back and look at this right quick, man. It alarmed me when I first seen this picture. I said I wasn't gonna say nothing about it. I said, you know what? I'm not going to even trip, you know. But then I said, let me let me go on and say something because I I don't want it, nobody to be get it twisted or get it confused, man. Um, first of all, this NBA young boy picture to start floating today. You know, I done lost a lot of friends, man, to drug addictions. I, man, you know, I was in the game, so a lot of that stuff was a. Uh, I, I felt partly a part of, of, you know, being in the streets, man. And I just really, you know, when I thought about it, man, it touched me, man, because there's a lot of young people, you know, that we've seen suffer from drug addiction. And um, to see uh, NBA Youngboy, I'm praying and hoping that that was an album cover. You know, this guy is a very, very popular guy. And a lot of times you've seen people just because money, people have money don't equate to happiness. But he's been going through a lot lately anyway. So, you know, definitely always praying for him no matter what. If he come out with a new album, if he don't come out with a new album, if something happens and he's getting arrested, uh, I'm, I'm just praying for all our young black people, man. I'm not going to get on this Internet like a lot of people and start criticizing and calling them this and calling them that. A lot of these people come from broken homes, backgrounds that was crazy. And, you know, I'm one of the guys who call myself one of the elders when it come down to these young guys and a lot of the guys and I'm not going to name them I'm like somebody they call on when they need to talk to somebody you know um you know we just hot boy Wiz just went you know got himself uh, uh into some serious issues just uh, and I would call him time after time trying to talk him off the ledge um NBA young boy is one that you know these southerners man these guys they they talented they coming into a lot and we have to we gotta we gotta protect them at all costs, man. It don't matter if they if you see them laying on the floor with pills beside them like this right here, that don't matter. They still our youth. A lot of this is I blame myself for. A lot of this you young you, you young guys are going through. A lot of the older guys that was in your neighborhoods that dealt with your mothers and your fathers caused a lot of this as well. And I know y'all gonna be like, don't play the blame game and all that. No, at the end of the day, man, anybody. There's somebody close to NBA young boy right now that can reach out and talk to him. And he may be an uncle or a cousin or something that's jealous because of the guy's success and know why these things are being triggered in him. Like I said, I'm hoping and praying that this is an album cover, man. Like I said, I see a lot of guys, they get on and they, you know, start, you know, talking crazy about these guys. But I'm an older guy. So me being having sons that's older than this cat. You know, why would I get on here and talk crazy about him when we can talk good about him and try to figure out ways to lift him up out of his turmoil, snatch him up out the fire? So my thing is, I'm just not the type of guy to do that. So um, if that's what you're looking for, you might want well to turn the channel because that's not what we're doing here. We're trying to figure out ways for solutions. We're not trying to bash nobody. All us, we get on here, we get on these waves and we get a platform or something. We start bashing these kids, not even talking to them. Not even trying to reach out to him. One thing I, I heard Dame say when on, on, on that Growing Up Hip Hop show, he, Dame Dash was acting as if, you know, they was acting like they were so concerned about Dame Dash, he losing money. Jermaine Dupri came to him and he was like, oh man, you losing money, man. I was worried about you. He was like, you was worried about me? How come you didn't call me? Some of you guys have got lifelines to people like Dame Dash told Jermaine Dupri. How come you ain't called me? How come you ain't try to send me something? Uh, if you were so concerned about me. No, you're not. And it was almost like he was saying, you're doing this just to be seen because of what everybody else is saying and what the people, are, the masses are saying about me. You're not concerned about me. So the same thing goes for this uh, NBA young boy situation. Are you really concerned about it? Or are you just doing it just because it's a way that people are take notice to you? You know, if you're really trying to help him, then reach out to him. If you got, get in his comments, tell him you love him. Try to lift him up, because that ain't what a lot of times this internet is about. But at the end of the day, that's what Boss Talk 101 have been striving to do for since day one. And I'm going to be real with you, a lot of these young kids, a lot of these young boys with money. Money don't equate to happiness. Money don't equate to, to you being closer to God. Money, money don't, don't maneuver this thing in a way to where it isolates you. It gives you a sense of freedom. But if you locked up mentally, it's not going to help you. So I'm just saying, man, I know a lot, like I said, 
If you watch Boss Talk 101, you know my son. I got a, a one son that's uh, working, that's uh, older and doing very well. My daughter's military and all kind of stuff. My other son uh, getting ready to graduate. My daughter's at Brown University. Like, it take a village, bro. It take people really, really reaching out and doing something with the youngsters, man. Shout out to all these young brothers who done lost their fathers, man. Um, shout out to uh, my boy, Lil' Soldier Slim. Shout out to my boy, um, Charlie Lowe Jr., man. Uh, Pimp C's son, Corey. All these guys, man. All these kids, man. Like I said, man, that these young men that trying to figure it out, you know, that lost their fathers uh, due to the game a lot of time or due to, to the life or the success, you know, or, or just left there early, whatever the case may be, as big brothers. We have to stop and we have to make those phone calls. We have to stop and we have to text. We have to stop. We have to show love. Get in these inboxes. If you're trying to do something to help the youth, man, or to help the young men, if you double these niggas age, then ain't no reason for you to get on here and start talking down. You got to do what's right by these young men and holler at them. And, and like I said, get in the inbox. I'll get in the inbox though. Hey man, you all right? This boss talk 101. If you need me, I'm here. Bro, just holler at me. I'm going to try to put something on your mind, man, because I've been there. I understand where you're at when it comes down to these things. But what was he doing here? Let's think about this for a minute. Was he doing this uh, for an album cover that's coming up? Because it would be a hell of a marketing thing, but a lot of people will be offended because this could be their, you know, their, their family members could have been and went through something like this. Is he doing this as a cry for help? Uh, because he's locked up on house arrest. Why is he doing this? That's the thing you have to ask yourself. Why? Why? Why is young boy, um, NBA young boy, uh, you know, putting this message out here like this? I don't know, man. Like I said, you guys, man, do me a favor. Like, subscribe to the channel. Try to figure out uh, 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 ways to, you know, um, promote positivity through, 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 through this podcast or through this channel. That's what we're trying to do. When I say that, I'm not saying I'm be doing it for that because I don't have to do that. I could talk about anything, but definitely uh, wanted to get on here and show my love, you know, to to NBA young boy. And um, man, call me. Get on the phone and call me. We know some of the same people running some of the same circle. Holler at me, man. It's always a word here, encouragement. All that other stuff is out the door, and I don't need nothing from you. I'm just saying, holler at me. And we ain't even got to let nobody know you did. If you need me, I'm here. And I pull up, I'll fly up. That's how I am. So um, definitely, man, love you, bro. And um, I hope that was for something, you know, that you just marketing and you're going to flip it into something that's a positive. That would be a great segue. Um, I think you could do it if anybody could do it, man. Everybody watching you and they love you, bro. So thank you, man. Thank you for all the songs, all the music, everything that you brought to the table. You're one of the dopest dopest kids out there right now man shout out to that boy gd shout out to the whole br man Baton Rouge, boosie uh all them boys man everybody that's out there man uh uh webby all them boys man uh br in the building man stop playing man titanic what up uh i see you girl uh all of y'all man everybody that's down in that boot man uh let's go man uh like i said bird man all the people man louisiana stand up man ain't be a young boy one hours we ain't playing about it no matter what, and we love it. So check it, man. It's your boy, ECEO, Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk, man, in the building, man. Make sure you, like I said, like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep pushing. There's a lot of good interviews coming your way, too, man. Let's get it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.